Hello fellow bats and welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat if you're new and today we are going to be unboxing some Kwame Surprise Miracle Boxes from my favorite show. It's called Miraculous, The Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, if you've never seen it. It is a kid's show but it has an amazing plot, diverse, dynamic characters, superheroes, a love story, best friends, life lessons, pretty much something for everyone. And I've watched every episode multiple times. I absolutely love it. But I'm not here to sell you the show, I promise. Today we're going to be trying to collect all of the Kwamis, which are the magical little creatures that grant the powers in the show. There are 20 different characters to collect. We have two chase figures. We have Glitter Tiki and Glitter Plague, and then 18 of the other characters in the show. Since there are only 16 in a full box and there are 20 figures to collect, obviously we're not going to get a full set, but that's okay. I don't really have any interest in collecting the chase figures. I really just want the rest of the characters. And I think today my hopefuls are going to be Dusu, the Peacock Miraculous, Tiki, obviously the Ladybug Miraculous, Plague, the Black Cat Miraculous, and I really like Daisy because I think she's super cute. She's the Pig Miraculous. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Here's what the Miracle Boxes look like up close, and if we turn it, we can see some of the characters that we can find on the side, although that doesn't show all of them. And full disclosure, if you find these in the store, they are going to be shrink-wrapped, but for the ease of opening them for the video, I went ahead and already removed all of that. There's a little tag here in the front that you lift up, and then your character is in a little blind bag, and there is no checklist in here, so if you don't take the box home, you won't have a full checklist to see who you got. But we're going to see who our first Kwame is. This is Tiki. She is the ladybug Kwame with the power of creation. And her Miraculous are the little earrings that she's holding. So if you are unfamiliar with the show, Miraculous is an item, usually jewelry, that a person wears. And whenever they are wearing them, they're called the holder of that Miraculous. And then the Kwame that goes with that Miraculous can give them superpowers. It's not as complicated in the show, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. That was an awesome first find. Let's see who we can find in this box. And these don't have tear strips, so I'm having to use my snippers to go ahead and open them up. This is gonna be Roar. Here she is up close. This is Roar. She is the Tiger Kwame, and she has the power of elation. Here is the bracelet that's her Miraculous. And in case you were wondering, these pieces do not come apart, so you won't lose either piece. These are going to look really awesome on the Miraculous display shelf. I think the one I want to see the most now is going to be Plague because I don't feel like you can have Tiki and not have Plague with her. So we're going to see if we can't find him in the next couple of boxes that we find. But first we're going to find Shupu. This is the Monkey Kwame with the power of derision. So the monkey Kwame has the miraculous of this headpiece. It goes around the forehead. I believe it's called a circlet or circlet. I'm not sure entirely how to pronounce it. If you have seen the show, who is your favorite character? I would love to read those in the comments down below. We're going to see who our next one is. And we got Nuru. Nuru is the Kwame for transmission and is tied to the Butterfly Miraculous. In the show, this one is the one being held by the villain. No, the Kwame is not bad. It's definitely how you use the powers that you're given. But this one is so cute. I love all the different designs and patterns that they have. And the detail for the wings. For me, it would be too easy to pick Ladybug as my favorite character because she's the main character, so I'm only going to choose from the other characters, so not including Cat Noir or Alia or any of them. I think it would be Julika. I absolutely just adore her. And this was another one of the ones I wanted to find. This is going to be the Pig Miraculous. So this is Daisy up close, and she holds the power of jubilation. And look how cute that is. I believe in the show hers is a bracelet. You can see it here around her neck. And it's actually not molded to the figure. So that's really cool. It's definitely not coming off, but it's not all one piece either. Look how cute that little pig is. I'm glad we found this one. This one was on my hopefuls. I've already found two of my four hopefuls in today's video, and we've only opened five boxes so far. So I'm hopeful, no pun intended, of course, that um, we're going to find the other two. And this is going to be Pollen. Pollen is a bee Kwame, and she holds the bee Miraculous, which is this hair clip that you can see down here at the bottom, or hair comb, rather. 
It's a little bit hard to focus on because my camera wants to focus on the face, but there you go. She has the power of subjection. Awesome, this was another one of my hopefuls. This is Dusu the Peacock with the power of emotion. Her Miraculous is a brooch or like a pen that goes onto your shirt. So it's actually this back piece that also looks like feathers. So here's her real feathers and then the ones behind her are the pin. And they have her laying down, which is cute. You can actually see all four of her little legs. And it even has detail there on the back. I am having the hardest time not just rambling on and on about the show because I don't want to give any spoilers and I don't want to ruin it for anyone who wants to watch the show. But I am just over here struggling not to say anything. This one is Waze. So Waze is a turtle with the power of protection. And it actually has a bracelet in the show, but you can't see the band from the bracelet down here. You can just see the charm that would be on it, which is a little turtle shell. This is one of the few Miraculous where the power kind of tells you what it does. So this one actually creates a shield in the show to keep our heroes safe. We only have one more hopeful to find, which is going to be Plague. And I don't think this one is him. This one feels really, really big. Like it has horns. Stomp is an ox Kwame, and his Miraculous is a nose ring. You guys can kind of see the detail there on the bottom that he's sitting on. And he has the power of determination. I also really like his tail in the back. I don't know why. I always love whenever the tail curls around like that. Our next character is Mulo, the mouse miraculous with the power of multiplication. In the show, she lets our heroes, and unfortunately sometimes the villains, make duplicates of themselves to get more work done. We are down to just six boxes left. We have a dark colored one in there, but I can't make out who it is through the bag. This is going to be Kalki. It keeps trying to blend into my background, so I'm gonna hold this one at kind of a weird angle so that you guys can actually see the detail. Kalki has the power of teleportation, and instead of a jewelry item, Kalki actually has like sunglasses, but you only see one half of them because in the show they fold over. So that's what this piece is, it's half the sunglasses that grant you the power of teleportation. We've done really well so far. I was worried that by mixing multiple boxes we would have wound up with a lot of duplicates and I hope I didn't just jinx myself by saying that. But so far so good. This is gonna be Trix. She is a fox. Her miraculous is this little pendant that hangs on a necklace chain and she has the power of illusion. So she can make you see things that you think are real but they're not. I knew that I shouldn't have said that with the last box because I did wind up jinxing us and we have our first duplicate. This is of course Dusu the Peacock Miraculous. But she's super cute so I don't mind having two of her. And here's hoping that the jinx was only for one box. We'll see if we can't find a new character inside this one. Okay, um, so technically a duplicate. This is Tiki, but this is the Chase one. This is the glitter figure, and I thought that it would be coated in glitter, but it's actually not. The glitter is encased in the plastic, so it's not one of those ones that's going to shed all over your hands and everything else. If you've been a viewer of my channel for a while, you know how much I don't like the texture of the overly glittered figures. She's super, super pretty. And here she is next to her, like, common variety. All right, we're down to just two boxes left. I really, really want to see Plag. If we don't get him, it's okay. I'll just keep my eyes peeled for more of these boxes, but I would love to have him. <laughs> I didn't mean in his chase form. I'm not complaining. Look how pretty he is. Again, the glitter is inside the plastic. So Plag is the black cat Kwame. And his Miraculous is this ring, which I don't know if you can see it super well because of the glitter inside of him and that he's not opaque, but oh my goodness, I, I can't believe I found both Chase figures in like a random box that I just put together in the store to get a full box. How lucky is that? Look how cute they are. 
I don't know if you can make out his little grin. I love his grin in the show, and those are like his little front teeth. And they're super cute. I wish they showed up better on camera. We are down to our very last box, and because I don't have a checklist, I just went ahead and did it on the box. So these are all the characters that we found. That's been our only duplicate. So we're missing Fluff the Rabbit, Oriko the Chicken, or sorry, Rooster, Ziggy the Cow, Sass the Snake, Regular Plague the Black Cat, and Bark the Dog Miraculous. This is the very last box. As long as we don't get a duplicate, I'll be ecstatic, but if I had to pick one that I really want to see... I think it would be Sass the Snake, Oregon Regular Plaid, because I really, really, really want the original for him. So let's go ahead and open up our final box and see who our last character of the day is going to be. I believe that is a plag, but I don't know if it's the regular or the chase edition. I have no idea how we managed to find all four of my hopefuls in the same video. That has never happened, but I'm super excited to have all of these in my collection. You guys can see the little teeth on this one a little bit better. Although this is a really shiny black. I know my lights are bright, but like even just without the lights, it's super shiny. And you can see the details in Cat Noir's ring down here. Cat Noir is, of course, the holder of the Black Cat Miraculous. Here is our final look at today's finds. We had 16 boxes, only got one duplicate, somehow managed to find all four hopefuls and both chase figures. Crazy good luck today. One thing I do want to mention is that the four here are a little bit more difficult to get to stand up on their own because their bases are so narrow and they're a little top heavy. The hardest one by far is Trix. I think because the ears are just so tall, but they do actually all stand on their own. And then the chase figure of Tiki is a little bit more pliable than the regular version of Tiki and was a little harder to get to balance as well. So just something super minor, but just to be aware of if you're planning on displaying these, glue dots might be your friend with some of those characters. But it is my favorite part of the video. It's time to pick your favorites and leave them down in the comments below. I'll go ahead and tell you mine. Just so I don't go with the obvious choice of the main two Kwamis or the Chase figures, I'm not going to pick any of those, but you're welcome to leave me whichever one is your favorite. I really, really, really like Roar. The little pink tiger back there, I don't know what it is about her. Maybe it's the detail on the bracelet, but she was one of my favorite ones to open today. And even though I knew I was going to like all of them, I wouldn't have put her in my top like three that I was after, and I'm so happy that we found her. I'm going to look for more of these because I want the other five characters that we didn't find in today's video. So if you guys like today's video or you just want to come hang out again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here next time at Honeybat Toys. Bye for now!